My name is Gitte Grove Poulsen and I'm the Chief Resilience Officer here in Vejle Municipality. Um, and in Vejle we've been part of a network called 100 uh, Resilient Cities for the last six years. Uh, so we've been working very uh, directly with resilience uh, and building capacity. Um, and that's also helping us in the work uh, regarding the Agenda 2030. We have very much focus on climate action because uh, we are very uh, vulnerable to flooding. So we are uh, trying to protect our cit citizens and our city and the businesses against the water. Um, and we like to do this in a way where we involve citizens uh, and businesses in the projects that we do. Uh, so we don't want to, as a municipality, tell people what to do. Uh, we like to set a direction and then uh, listen to what people have to say. Uh, and uh, regarding the SDGs, the, the um, goal number 16 is very important for us. We want to be a strong institution that empowers citizens, residents, instead of uh, just going out and telling people what to do. We believe that gives us better solutions uh, that will last us longer into the future. Um, regarding the Shaping Fair Cities project, uh, we are also very much focused on climate action and involving um, young people and citizens in general in uh, the climate action uh, process of uh, mitigating our uh, CO2 levels. Um, we are a part of a Western country where, uh, where we buy a lot of things, we drive in uh, big cars, uh, and we want to uh, engage our citizens in the flight, fight against climate change as well. Um, so that's very important to us. And, um, and we find also that it's, it's something the cities they are re citizens are really interested in. Uh, they want to be part of this change. They want to be uh, part of the solution. Uh, and they want to create a better world for themselves and, and future generations to come. Um, so, so I don't really feel like it's hard to engage people, but finding the right way to engage citizens um, it's important. Uh, we have to be, as a city council and, and municipal administration, we have to be able to listen and, uh, and collaborate, co-create with, uh, with our citizens. My job as a chief resilience officer is to make sure our resilience strategy is implemented. Uh, we have 15 lighthouse projects uh, including everything from building social resilience uh, to securing our city uh, against climate change and rising sea levels. Um, and uh, these projects we are, uh, we are implementing with partners across the municipality, with businesses, with other departments in our own administration, with citizens and civil society. And that is a really important for us to mobilize as many people and as many partners as possible so that we get the biggest representation as possible, but also get the solutions, the better solutions. Um, because the more people we are, the more knowledge we have and the more power we have. Um, and uh, regarding the artwork behind me, uh, the posters are a few chosen posters uh, from a project where we uh, asked 17 artists to interpret a sustainability goal, development goal each. Um, and so they took uh, each goal and put their own thoughts into what would goal one mean for them or what would goal number 16 mean for them. And so the mayor chose uh, a few of them to have here hanging in his meeting room. Um, as an inspiration, whenever he has meetings, uh, people look at the posters and think, what does uh, poverty mean? Or how could we, uh, how can we interpret goal number 11 of sustain building sustainable cities? Um, the posters were auctioned uh, on a big festival we held uh, last year called Vaila Democracy Festival, which is a two-day festival where we engage the whole 
city uh, and actors across um, civil society, businesses within our own organization. We come together and discuss some of the issues that are important for the city and the municipality and uh, bridge the understanding uh, between us uh, so we have uh, a platform to find the solutions. So these pictures were auctioned there uh, and we gathered uh, 18,000 Danish kroner uh, that we donated to a forest uh, or organization uh, planting trees. Um, so it was uh, a small little part of a bigger festival, uh, but it has its own life now and everyone really enjoys uh, the posters. Uh, and they are an important part of our work. They inspire us every day and uh, we like them very much. So in the future, we will definitely uh, aim at engaging many more businesses in our work towards resilience. Uh, we want to include and involve uh, businesses in building the resilient Vila of tomorrow. Um, and we will do this by focusing on leadership within the businesses, but also how they can contribute to the challenges that we are facing in the city. We also have another project uh, coming along where um, we will or we have to revitalize our strategy. So in 2020, we will pick some new lighthouse projects so we can uh, have something to work, uh, work towards in the future. Uh, so we have implemented a lot of our resilience strategy already, and now we have to look for new goals uh, to achieve. And shaping fair cities will be a part of this, uh, especially with the with the SDG number 11 and, and 13. Uh, we will engage a lot more people in the uh, fight against climate change uh, in the coming years. Mm -hmm.